if you feel like if you know you hard, go show me you harder than me. But right now, I feel like can't nobody go harder than me. And I'm and I got the music to back it up. I got the pin game to back it up. So I'm I'm saying is, that. is that Erica Banks included? Because Erica Banks has made waves. Like, huh? She's made waves over at 1501, and you know. Reality shows and all I, that. She's she's nice. She, so I'm not saying she sucks. You say you're the best though. In order to I, be the best, that mean everybody. I don't feel like it's nobody in Dallas Forward that can f my pin game. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. One on one. Yeah, we gon' talk. Anyway, let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so what's the new music, man? Because I know you've been out here killing it, man. What was that video shoot today? Let let me hear about it. Um, I had a song called uh, Ride That. Ride That. Yeah. It's a hell of a name. So is it exactly what the name suggests? It's like more New Orleans style because, you know, I'm, I'm from Louisiana. So it's like a New Orleans bounce beat. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. so there's a lot of dancing. Yeah, because I'm trying to get more into like, because like when I went to Bayou Classic, I had ran into a popular DJ from Elston Baton Rouge and he was just like, you need to come on home and do some stuff and da da da. Who was the DJ? Um, DJ Woody Billions. Okay. Okay. Yeah, but he hit me up like, well, you need to come home and do some stuff. Let us get Shout you out. popping here, you know. Because he was basically like, I see how Dallas is kind of mad because I see all the comments saying, oh, she not from Louisiana. And it was one comment that said, they said, Boosie need to come get her and take her back to Baton Rouge. <laughs> What's the uh, okay? Okay, you know, first of all, you in these comments, you know, I ain't never seen nobody. You answered every damn yeah, comment. You read the everything. So everything. You, you, you kind of petty. You kind of petty. I am a high head, but I'm trying to control it. I'm trying to learn. <laughs> I'm trying to learn to not read comments. For real. <laughs> That's gonna be hard for you because you always do it. <laughs> she petty as hell. She petty. And how, when I'm you petty. when you be reading it. You really be sitting down there be mad at these people for it, for yeah. what they're saying? No, I'm talking to you, like when me and my um sister be reading them comments, we be laughing. Oh, okay. talking shit back at the time. It's like, the thing is, a lot of shit that I do is to get people started. Like a lot of interviews that I do where I go and say certain shit that I know is going to get people started. Mm -hmm. That's what I do it for. So I can't go in the comments mad about what they saying and I know exactly what I'm doing when I'm saying it. Okay. So. Okay. Well, well let's, let's get into that a little bit. I mean, we uh, we had uh, we had South Dallas Kiki on <laughs> OTCU on the come up, which is the baddest, newest piece that comes off of Boss Talk One Hundred One Prime Time, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, she said basically, pretty much that when she was asked by the. Uh, Host, what mm -hmm. did what did she ask? Do you remember? Because you the one clipped she, it. Yeah, she said that Rainwater in a recent interview on our show. Yeah, he did. So he, we did ask him who was better, Nina Loretta or South Dallas Kiki, because there's a lot of um, controversy where that is concerned. People, some because people say, the best. I didn't say both though. I didn't he did say, say no both, party. but he did say her at one point in the interview. No, too. because whenever he we he said both. We're gonna always she gonna made say, him ask. We're gonna always say you can't just say both. Who no, you gonna it? always say that, not me. Who is I don't give a damn. because everybody has their own perspective, and as much as one person might be better in a certain arena, the other person might be better in a different part of it. So it's just clarification. I just needed that clarification. Yeah, uh, you know, and he did say. Um, South boiled, Dallas Kiki. Boiled down and say South Dallas Kiki. Yeah, but it was hard. So it wasn't no easy she, thing. She asked her about that statement. And you know what she said. And he made the statement that you were better than Nita Loretta. How you feel about this? She, I feel like she pop her shit. Um, she talked down too motherfucking much. That's what I do feel like, um, just to be honest. I, don't, I, don't, I ain't trying to be funny, but she, I just feel like, if you came to Dallas to come up, she, what the fuck you talking down on Dallas for? That's gonna make Dallas is a city where they gon' the smallest shit to make them hate you. Well, yeah. at the end of the day, I think the main thing is who gonna say somebody better than them. Mm -hmm. Who gonna tell you, hey, yeah, she better than me? Ain't nobody feel say that because you ain't really ain't no podcast period better than this boss talk one hundred one. Now that now you you know somebody else might say you know what I'm saying. Man, please, man. These niggas got a million over here. They got this over there. Or that one in L.A. is this. You understand what I'm saying? But everybody has their opinion on what's the best. And when it comes to me, 
I don't think nobody else got the angles or the clarity or the cl or the lighting that I got. I think these niggas slipping the cameras, the, the the expenses I pay. I don't think niggas is putting this up like this. I ain't never seen that another niggas podcast in my life. So I don't know what they look like. But in my mind, you can't tell me this ain't the baddest one in the world. See, you know what I'm saying? Like, see, my, my take on that is like... You're supposed to feel like you're the best, first of all. But I feel like until somebody makes it out, then nobody is really the best. But my thing is, like I said, I'm not in competition with nobody. Like, I feel like I'm in my own lane. Because, like, to be honest with you, with this music game, it's 90% business. It's 10% talent. You can literally rap me. You can literally be able to wrap circles around me. But do you have the full package? Like I said in my last interview, the labels don't care because you can rap better than me. Can they sell you? Like, do you have everything? Can, do you have the looks? What's you everything? Have, you got to have the looks. You got to have the hustle. You got to have the talent. You can't, you, just because you can rap don't mean you're marketable. Like, this is a young generation. The the this is the young people run, running the music shit right now. So, you might can rap, but can you grab the attention of the younger crowd? Can you make marketable music are you marketable like so it don't matter if you can rap better than me but the thing is i know my pen game and a lot of shit like over these years i ain't dropped nothing the shit that i didn't drop that's easy for me like that's literally like uh easy so the shit that i'm about to drop now i know that ain't no female artist in there and i'm not you know, when are you dropping shit. it i'm making my first drop next week but I'm not letting up on nobody. When I say not letting up, I'm on next this year because I feel like it's now or never with me. It's now or never, so is I'm it, on next. Are you? Is this gonna be an EP or is this gonna be a project? I'm gonna start out with an EP, but I'm 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 gonna keep it rolling with that EP. That EP is gonna be hard enough to get me to the part where I can start rolling. But like I said, I do feel like it ain't no female in Dallas Fort Worth that can fuck with my pin game. And right. it's not like it's not like I'm saying I'm trying to beef with nobody. I'm trying to start shit with nobody. If you feel like what I'm saying offends you, if that makes you mad, that means you're insecure with yourself. If you feel like you better than me, why you want to beef with me? Just go get in the studio and, and, and make a better song than me. Go harder than me. If you feel like you better than me, it's a friendly competition. No, I get it. Like I, if you feel like if you know you hard, go show me you harder than me. But right now, I feel like. Can't nobody go harder than me, and I'm and I got the music to back it up. I got the pin game to back it up, so I'm I'm saying. Is that, is that Erica Banks included? Cause Erica Banks has made waves. Like, huh? She's made waves over at 1501, and you know reality shows and all I, that. She's she's nice. She, so I'm not saying she sucks. You say you're the best though. In order to I, be the best, that mean everybody. I don't feel like it's nobody in Dallas forward that can fuck my pin game. Wow. And that's that's facts. Anybody who a day one fan of me knows before I was even signed to Boosie, I, my pin game was retarded. Like when I signed to Boosie, Boosie made it clear, this is not what sells. You got to make music that sells. It's like the ass shaking, the, the stuff that people are doing right now. But if you go back and listen to my old videos, I was talking about my real life, like coming from the projects, having nothing, like talking about relatable shit. That's how I got on. People been on my pen game is stupid. I done flew out to LA and all that writing for big artists, the biggest artists right now. My pen game is it sales. Like my music sells. You can call Jay White on your phone right now. My music will sell. Wow. Like music that I write Shout for Shout out Jay people. White. Like facts. That's hard. So That's yeah, real I, hard. I can really I can write for five days. I can get in the room with six people and write for everybody, including myself. And everything will go hard. Wow. That's that's dope. That's remarkable. Man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.